Hi, and welcome to another VS tutorial. Today, I'll show you how to create videos and images from your project using the recording features. As always, I'm Nuno's avatar, guiding you through these tutorials while Nuno keeps working on VS and giving you technical support. Let's get started. VS offers a quick and easy way to record your project's visual output with options for routing and syncing audio. This lets you produce ready-to-use videos you can upload to your preferred platforms. Let's take a look. To quickly record the render output, simply click the Record button. Click it again to stop the recording. A message will appear confirming that a recording has been saved in the Recordings folder. By default, this folder is located in the Recordings folder inside the VS directory under your documents. You can access it quickly by clicking this folder icon. As you can see, an MP4 file with the current date has been created. You can also capture an image instead of a video by clicking the camera icon. This will generate an image file. It's very easy to create either a video or an image from your current project. With the screenshot feature, you can quickly create thumbnails, previews, and visual artwork directly from VS. Now, let's explore the settings and how to integrate audio into your recordings. To access the recording settings, click the settings icon. First, you can choose the recording quality. Keep in mind that higher quality produces larger files. Next, you can select the file format for screenshots, either PNG or JPEG. PNG produces a larger but better quality file. You can also change the folder where your recordings are saved. Let's change it to a folder on the desktop. Click the folder icon to choose a new destination. We'll select this folder. Now, if we create a new recording, you'll see that it's saved in the new location. Finally, you can choose which audio sources will be included in the recording. These sources not only feed the recording, but also determine what you hear during your session. This makes it easier to understand which audio inputs will be captured. By default, the player and the first two channels of your audio interface are selected. We aren't hearing anything since there's nothing connected to the interface and the player has no loaded file. Let's load a demo file. Open the player panel, click the folder icon, and under demos, select Mellow Techno. Press play. Now, open the recording settings again. Notice how the sound stops when disabling the player option. The player is still running, but we no longer hear it and the recording will not include its audio. Turn it back on to include the player audio in your recording and stop the player. A popular way to share music on platforms like YouTube is by using music visualizers. With VS, you can easily create such videos. Let's see how you can make one. We have music loaded in the player and we want the video to start and stop automatically with the song. You can do this in two different ways, by starting the recording with the player or by starting the player with the recording. To start recording with the player, long press the record button until it becomes highlighted. This means the recording is armed and will begin as soon as the player starts. If you're using the plugin version, the recording will start automatically when the host begins playback. To start the player with the recorder, open the Player Panel Settings. In this case, we want both of these options enabled. When we press Record, the player will start, and once the song reaches the end, it will stop the recording. Don't forget, if you want the song to stop at the end, disable the loop option, otherwise the song will loop and the recording won't stop. Now let's load a visualizer preset. Open the patch browser. Under the factory bank, select Reactive DJ Red by Cop. Tweak it to your liking and stop the player. This 
disable loop and press record. We can open the recordings folder to see the result. You now have a finished video ready to upload to your favorite platforms. As you've seen, it's easy to record your visual creations and include the audio that drives them, all perfectly synced. This helps you save time so you can focus on your creativity. I hope you found this tutorial useful. I'm Nuno's avatar guiding you through these tutorials, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.